Even when curl commands can be used in a shell script, a lot of programming languages also support HTTP REST. In the following demonstration, I would like to show some examples in Python. Following scripts are prepared. Create host, add volume to the host, clean up volume and hosts, and a last script to check jobs which run on the array. The scripts are all quite identical, just different actions and payload. The first part of the script imports some libraries. Depending on the used operation system and Python installation, an additional installation might be required for you. Following libraries are imported within the scripts. Requests used for HTTP and authenticate our requests against the PowerStore API server. URL lib3 to form the URL and to ignore SSL warnings. JSON for pretty output, OS to read OS environment, and sys for script command line options to read hostname and IQN in the create host example. The second part fetches a CSRF token with a simple GET request against the cluster resource for ID and name and creates output for the operator. Once we have the CSRF token, the next steps build and execute the request with given arguments with showing the result. The JSON, which keeps the JSON of the host, is stored in variable payload and used for the request against the array. The create host example expects two arguments, hostname, py, demo host, and IQN, which I'm using from the copy-paste buffer. The first part of the response shows CSRF token and cluster ID, as well as name, as we saw in the script. The second part shows the HTTP response code and ID for the new host. A second script adds volumes with specified size to an existing host. The first part with modules only differs because of other variables used for that script. This time we need vol host for the host, vol name for the volume name, and vol size for the size of the volume. For better usability, there is already a calculation from gigabyte into bytes as used by the PowerStore API. As host ID for the given hostname is required anyway, the script uses the same query to get the CSF token in the second step. Finally, the script prepares the payload and sends it as post operation to the array. And the script is used together with options py demo host for the host, py demo wall 001 as volume name, and 10 for 10 GB the script query for the host ID and using the CSF token to send the post requests with new volume information to the PowerStore cluster. Response from the cluster is the volume ID. With different volume names, we can reuse the script to create as many volumes for the host as we want. For instance, creating a pydemo wall 002 for the same host. Finally, we can use a third script to clean up volumes and host for a given hostname. In the first part, only the command line option is changed, which expects hostname as first argument. As next, first query gets the host ID and CSRF token for later post requests. The attached volumes to the host are fetched with the get query. This query also updates the CSF token variable before it can loop through the result of volumes. Within the loop, a post request is executed to detach the volume from the host and a second request to delete the volume. When all volumes are detached and deleted, the last step of the script deletes the host. When the script runs with options pydemo host, it cleans up the configuration and we can see the output. CSF token from the cluster, the host volume pairs for deletion and used for the following loop where the status code is shown, and lastly the host delete with status code 204. Forster keeps a list of jobs which are available in resource group job. The last Python script runs a query against the job resource group and shows all jobs matching a filter given as command line argument. It's only a short script as no CSF token is required for the single get request. When we call it with pydemo as argument, we can see all actions performed on the array. pydemo host create, pydemo wall 001 create, pydemo wall 002 create, two times volume detach and delete, which was executed in this loop of the third script, and finally pydemo host delete. Many parts of scripts to manage a powerstore array are identical. Dell provides libraries to simplify that. As last part of the demonstration, I would like to show you the Python library available on github.com slash dell. The module is easy to find when using the filter function for PowerStore. To fetch the code, either download a zip archive of Python PowerStore code or use git tool to create a local clone. The README contain more information about installation and usage. On our host, the Python module is already installed and ready to use. To show you the functionality, two scripts are prepared one to create a new host and a second to attach volumes to an existing host. When the module is used with import, only a few lines of code are required to create the host. 
First part prepares the payload with port name and port type. Then the script loads the module and establishes a connection to the power store system. As next part it creates a host. And finally, the last part of the script shows the new host. As expected, once the script is called, a new host is created with the information given as arguments. The last script I want to demonstrate adds new volumes to an existing host. It utilizes the Python library to get the host ID from the array for the host given as command line argument, create a new volume with size given as second command line object, get volume ID and map the volume to the host. Once we call the script with options pylib demo host and pylib demo world series one, it performs the configuration on the array and shows the host ID for the host, information of the new volume, resulting volume, and mapping to the host. Like in Python demo, the script can be reused when different volume names are used. Happy scripting and thank you for watching the REST API and Python video series.